Good afternoon. Students at Etrusco Heritage Academy are coming together to remember their classmate, 16-year-old Vanessa Ordonez. She was killed Sunday by the river in Rio Communities after a party got out of control. Tonight, the search for the killer continues. News 13's Allison Martinez spoke with Ordonez's friends and classmates today. Allison. Kim Ordonez's death is really affecting her classmates. They tell me why she was always one of the happiest ones in the room. I couldn't believe that I woke up and I saw the picture on Facebook and I called her and I texted her. I was like, dude, tell me it's fake. That I'm going to see you once I walk into class. And there was no answer, nothing. And then that, as like the day went on, I started seeing everything and I realized it wasn't true. Like it was true. It all started Sunday night in Rio communities when a party on the sandbar under the bridge near Alsup's got out of control and someone started shooting. Valencia County deputies say Ordonez was shot and struck by a vehicle. She was pronounced dead on scene. Those who went to high school with her at Atrisco Heritage High School say Ordonez was starting her junior year here and she was looking forward to graduation. Friday we had just been talking about how she was so excited to graduate, all of us together for 2020. Just because she is dead now doesn't mean we can't live for her and she was just so excited to graduate and I know that when we do graduate she's going to be beside us. Her family tells me that they're still waiting for more information from deputies about Vanessa's death. They describe her as someone who always had a smile on her face and was ambitious, living life to the fullest. They even said this morning they found a school book of hers about how to have the best college application. A GoFundMe has been set up to help the family with funeral costs. Classmates have made t-shirts and they're also hosting a car wash on Friday at 3 p.m. near uh, the title max on Central and Atrisco. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks, Allison. Now, deputies have not yet named any suspects in her murder or made an arrest. 33-year-old Casey Peralta was also shot in the face during the incident. He is expected to recover. Still no arrests have been made in Ordonez's death.